What up though, Big V Ward here. Happy Friday morning. Just woke up with some things on my mind. Maybe I should say it, maybe I shouldn't, but I am anyways. But if you're not wearing a mask out in public, just delete yourself from my page. Cause you don't care about me. You don't care about my parents. You don't care about your parents. You don't care about older people that's out here. You don't care about my cousin that's a nurse that has to see this stuff every day. You don't care about my sister that's working in the hospital. Hell, you don't even care about yourself. Wearing a mask, man, is the easiest thing that you can do. It's easier than wearing a ventilator. People... Y'all, y'all get, y'all think about the wrong things. Partying, showing off, kicking it. Do you realize the longer you guys do this and the more these numbers go up, the longer we got to sit in the house? I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of sitting in the house. I want to go work. I want to go to my favorite restaurants. I want to go to go do things. But y'all, y'all ain't listening. Why y'all ain't listening? Just because somebody tells you it's okay to do something, don't you got to think of you have to realize where it, where it's coming from. If these scientists are saying we don't think it's safe. Why y'all ain't listen to him? Did y'all listen to 45? This dude is trying to take away people's insurance, Obamacare, during a pandemic. He's telling people to go out here and just live your life like normal. Don't listen to that, man. And then, you know, you got people on social media arguing about 45. Why y'all arguing with people? Once again, on my Facebook like page, it's almost up to maybe 11 million. 11 freaking million of people arguing with each other. People that you don't even freaking know arguing. And it's so much division in this world and we know we all know where it's coming from and people have to realize republicans you have to re realize it's not that democrats hate republicans or dislike or not 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 liking a, a republican president it's just you don't you just have a president that doesn't know what he's doing it could be any republican president but just have one in there that's going, that's fair. That's not all about himself. This is freaking ridiculous, man. Every day is something new. Every day is something new. <clears throat> and if you have a problem with me saying that, just delete yourself. I'm not going to argue with you. Why, why fuss and fight over people, people you don't know? That's just my view. That's how I feel. And people out here, you, you learning every day because people telling on themselves every day how people really and truly feel. Yeah. When you don't have something in common with people, you're going to find yourself arguing with them. So why do all that? Most people, you know... You quote unquote have on friends, have friends online, you don't even know each other. That's just the truth. And then for the people that I do know that call me to do stuff, I want you to be in this, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. So y'all better start acting flaky, man. Don't waste my time with all that BS. Talking about, let's take care of business. Let's do this and do that. And then y'all be flaky. 
how your I's dotted and your T's cross. And no disrespect, but all this going back in my career, doing stuff for free. I live too far to drive out to your event to do something for free. And that's just the truth. You know, just because I'm nice, don't be trying to take advantage of my niceness. I'm not, I'm not having it. And, you know, me hooking people up on this, hooking people up on that, it's, it's bananas. But one thing I have noticed, though, have you guys ever did something for somebody? You know, I did a project for somebody. And, you know, they're like, I can't give you what you, what you usually get or whatever. But then they kind of blow up. They blow up and they got a budget. You know, you see celebrities in they in they projects, but then they don't call you. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. When you didn't have no money, I was there for you. But now that you got some money, I don't hear from you. It's all good. All in due time. That's what I like to say. All in due time. But man, we need to get it together. Everybody needs to get it together. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. Respect people the way you want to be respected. This pandemic, it's a negative. It's a huge negative in the world. But just think, if we didn't have that pandemic, we wouldn't get to see what happened with George Floyd. Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and so on and so on. Because most of us would be so focused on our work, we'd be focused on, on other things. But I think that's why with these protests has brought out so many different cultures. Asians, whites, Indians, blacks. Because now you see it every day. Every day is in your face. And now you have to realize, man, maybe people aren't lying about, you know, people getting killed. Unarmed black people are getting killed. So in that, in that sense, the pandemic, even though so many people are dying now, but it, it had it opened up, it opened up the world to see what's really and truly going on behind these closed doors, behind these closed videos you know sad you can't even stop protesting because every day is something new every day is somebody else getting killed getting choked getting shot it's like when does it stop man and then for the people delete these people too if you hear somebody who say well, we don't know what happened five minutes before the video started. No, get rid of them. Get rid of them. If you had to argue with somebody about all lives matter, get rid of them. You got to argue about somebody with a, not wearing a mask or wearing a mask, get rid of them. Arguing about Trump, get rid of them. Arguing about a hoax, get rid of them. The only reason why I'm saying that, not because people are just supposed to do what you want them to do. But if you don't believe in that stuff, then you have nothing in common. And you don't. You have nothing in common with these people. I know a lot, I see a lot of, um, <clears throat> I see a lot of posts saying that their friend list is going down. Mine too. Mine too can't miss nobody that you didn't really know can't you can't trip off of somebody you don't really know so it's all respect and love with me but in the same breath i ain't playing no games with you none of them i don't care who it is my focus is on 
my family, and trying to be healthy, trying to, you know, live right. And when I say my family, I ain't talking about all of you. Because I know for a fact some of you don't give a damn about me. It's all good. You remember, everybody ain't your friend, man. Like I said in that poem, just because we family don't make you as kin. Yeah. But I love everybody. I do. I even love you, Trump supporters. But I, I believe we can agree to disagree. But be respectful. And stop putting up old stuff about Biden. That's just ridiculous. 30, 40 years ago, everybody changed. You know, if anything, you putting fuel to the fire. When you put out those articles about Biden, if you're a Biden supporter or whatever, only thing you're doing is make it hard for other people to be like, oh, I want to vote for him. Oh, look at this. Oh, he said that. Oh, he, he can't speak. Oh, he messes up doing speeches. Man, give me that. Right now, give me a man that messes up on a speech every now and then. Hell, I know I mess up. All y'all mess up too. But don't give me that other lock people up in cages, build walls, divide people. You know, don't give me that bull crap. We can't take another four years of that. We can't take no Lindsey Grahams. We can't take no, no bars. We can't take no uh, Moscow Mitches. Can't take that. Now for another four years, y'all better get out and vote, man. Let me hear somebody talk about they don't, they don't believe in voting or, or do the same stuff that they did with Hillary. Uh, uh, we gotta pick the two, the best of two, the two negatives. Well, look what I got you. Or I'm not voting this year. Get off my page. Don't even talk to me. And remember, once you delete somebody, you they're deleted. Especially if you block somebody. They are blocked. We gotta wake up, man. We gotta wake up. And it can't be waking up for like a month. A week. A day. That same loyalty that y'all have in, this, in the negative. Why y'all can't have any, that same loyalty or positive? I can't have that same loyalty to, to your family. To the people that's close to you. To the people who had your back. Man, I don't get it. I don't get it. Man, I ain't going to try to get it because I ain't going to be chasing nobody to be my friend. I ain't chasing nobody to love me. I ain't chasing nobody to be nothing. Too old for that. All right, man. I guess I'm venting long enough. I'm sure a lot of y'all ain't gonna watch this whole video. It's almost 14 minutes long, but that was on my mind. All right, y'all stay prayerful, man. Stay prayed up. Just try to be good to each other. I'm gonna go over here and feed the birds like I do every morning. Look at them. Bird, man. They be knowing. I be giving them everything, too. They just sitting there chilling. All right. Big V Ward. Anybody, anytime anybody have a question for me, you can inbox me. You can talk. Yeah. Y'all take care, man. It's always respect for me. One love. Peace.